Hello, everybody. Howdy. So, as everybody now knows, um, ex governing body Anthony Morris is no longer a governing body. He's no longer a member of the faithful, discreet slave. Um, he's still of the anointed, but that's debatable. <laughs> um, but we got to talking about it, and we've watched a few of your videos. And uh, you were watching Marcus Vaughn's, and he says, oh, well, instead of leaving a comment, let's just do a video commenting on Marcus Vaughn's. Yes, because Marcus, this is all Kim and I's fault. <laughs> it, it really is our fault. Tony, I'm sorry, but our magic is stronger than your magic. And we're going to remind everybody what we did two years ago to reverse his spell against enemies of Jehovah. Now I just want to say that I we are not involved in the occult. We are not witches or pagans or anything like that. We have nothing against those beliefs. But actually Anthony Morris did this to himself because I what? beg to differ. Because it's not whether you're involved, it's all how you use the force. <laughs> You've got to use the force properly. I mean, if, if the movie Star Wars taught us anything, there's dark energy and there's light energy. And in every circumstance, the light will defeat the darkness. Yeah, now this is true. All joking aside, that is true because light always extinguishes the dark. Now, I know some of you are saying I have no idea what they are talking about. So let me play a clip of a video that I did a couple of years ago um, on something that Anthony Morris had done, a morning worship, and then we're going to talk about it. See, I felt that video, you know, I could feel the hate and the negativity, but I didn't realize what he was doing until some of you started sending me information. In the pagan world, now first I want to say that I am not involved in the occult, and I neither condemn it nor condone it. You know, whatever people want to believe, that is up to them. But I just wanted to share some of your research that you sent me and some of the research that I did that I thought was kind of disturbing. Now, first of all, when someone sent me a link to the, a pagan website about the matchstick spell, and I'm just going to read what it says here. What you'll need, a matchstick and a pen. How to conjure. Now I just want to say that, you know, I've said many times that what you put out into the universe is what you get back. It's even in the Bible. Jesus said, what you sow, you will reap. In simple terms, that means that whatever you are putting out, this is what you will get. And the spoken word is very powerful when you put it out into the universe. And so, you know, think along those terms and then your emotion and, you know, what you say, what you're thinking, what you feel. Now think about what Anthony Morris did. The they're finally going to be gone. All these despicable enemies that have uh, just reproached Jehovah's name, destroyed, never, ever to live again. Now, it's not that we rejoice in someone's death, but when it comes to God's enemies, finally, they're out of the way, especially these despicable apostates who at one point had dedicated their life to God, and then they joined forces with Satan, the devil, they chief apostate of, of all time. So while we eagerly await Jehovah's bringing his enemies 
to the end, but the wicked will perish. The enemies of Jehovah will vanish like glorious pastures, particularly they will vanish like smoke. So this, I thought this would be a nice memory aid. To this verse stay in the mind. Here's what Jehovah's promising. Okay. As Jehovah's enemies. He had his Bible. He's reading it. About the despicable apostates are going to disappear like smoke. That was almost like saying a spell. You know, putting it out into the universe. So I'm just going to read here. You know, and then he lit the match and blew it out. He used his breath, his part of his life force to put that out into the universe. So he was actually, in a very simple, rudimentary way, putting a curse on the XJWs and condemning them. How to conjure. Write your desire in one word on the match. Being so small, it may get tricky. Don't get frustrated, write as neatly, neatly as you can and call it good. Before lighting the match, take a moment to envision your spell coming to fruition. For example, if you're seeking a new home, imagine walking into your new house. So they go on to talk about the positive parts of this. But think about what Anthony Morris did. He read from the Bible the condemnation of Jehovah's enemies. And then he lit that match and blew it out putting it out into the universe. Now this is what they say in here. With the strike of a match, the spell is aflame, quickly manifesting my di desires attained. And this is to light the match and allow it to burn as completely as possible without burning your fingertips. With one deep breath and the unfailing belief your spell will manifest, blow out the match before it reaches your fingers. So I just want to demonstrate, this is for demonstration only, of what Anthony Morris did. And you probably can't see it, but I have written governing body and president on this match. And what he did is he lit it, and he let it go for a while, and then he blew it out. Mm -hmm. That is what he did. So even in the pagan world, this was a spell that he Put out there. Now, there's some other things that, you know, for demonstration purposes, I just want to show how easy it is. And if the governing body are involved in this magic practicing, they're going to know what this would mean. So you can also write on a piece of paper their names David Splain. Samuel Hurd, Garrett Loesch, Mark Stephen Lett, Anthony Morris, Mark Sanderson, Jeffrey Jackson, Kenneth Cook Jr., and the Watchtower President, Robert Serenko. And then you can just throw it in the fire. Now, what you want to be feeling and thinking when, you know, the pagans do something like that is whatever you are putting out into the universe governing body may it come back to you see and this isn't black magic this is just basically what you're putting out into the universe karma many of us know it by karma so i have many pagan friends and in their emails at that time they were telling me that actually what i did by exposing Anthony Morris and what he was doing with the Enochian magic, um, that it totally destroyed his spell against all of us and it kind of like threw it back at him. And I know it's taken a couple of years, but... <laughs> well, here again, we'll just answer it in true Jehovah Witness fashion. Some of you may wonder, why did it take so long? But remember, 
Leave it in Jehovah's hands. <laughs> He'll take care of it in his due time. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just some uh, funny thoughts that we were having over that video that I had done a couple of years ago. And it's like, I, I don't understand, you know, all what they mean about I destroyed his magic and threw it back at him. But I am a firm believer in what you're pretty, putting out into the universe will come back to you. And with Tony putting that um, hate and the evil despicable apostates are going to be destroyed and become like smoke. It was just inevitable. I mean, karma has a way of just coming back and biting you on the backside. So, Tony, for whatever reason you decided to no longer serve as a governing body member, I have one thing that I would like for you to pay attention to. We outlasted you. Your governing body career is over. And this was wonderful news. So, we hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoy this. Smell something burning? I think I smell human hot dogs. And it's got the... I think there's a little bit of Irish whiskey in that smell. Ah. Sorry about your luck, Tony, but when you play with the devil, the devil will win, always. Yeah. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.